Get out of the quay, damn it. I need a montage. Oh, shit. Oh, sh All right, so I'm on Commando Winnabone's file here because uh, he got himself totally royally screwed while recording the video for me. So we are going to uh, try to help him out get started here. And by that, I mean we are going to get him in a better ship than a, a Sidewinder and maybe some credits to go with it. So let's just send him to Hackworth because that's where I'm usually based at. Wait, what? He's one jump away from it? He's in Matet? i to dock his ass and get him some fuel. Yeah, okay, just enough credits for some fuel. Let's go. Slow down. Get the fuck out of here. I think he's got enough creds for some sushi, dude. No, he's he's probably too poor for sushi. Space sushi is extra expensive. Those damn chemlocks of Pelock 5, dude. They hoard them fish, dude. Good old Hackworth. I might actually take a hauler out to see a Sothus, Brian Federink, and that'll give him a lot of money that way, too. And get him a mock soul for him. Even though he much prefers Imperial chips than Fed chips, but he needs soul. Am I unable to jump that far? Is that literally too far to... I'll take this. I need to get a little bit more distance. Or that means dropping weight or what? Get off my fucking computer. Ugh, there's cargo rack, but I think I've increased my jump distance enough just by tossing some weight. Yeah. Good job, me. Tossing those shitty ass pulse lasers in the garbage. Storing my SRV. And now I can reach Gebel. Civil Liberty reported. So what, they're just happy? They're just sitting there happy with smiles on their faces? Guys, we have to report something. We have some serious civil liberty going on over here. Okay, I have enough for a hauler. But if a he cattle has some good follow-on missions. I might want to do those before I even get to my hauler. That's too good of money to turn down right now. Back to Gibbles. This is worth a lot of credits, though. Like 250,000 credits for this mission? Shit. Man, they keep scanning me. What the hell? They really don't trust Justin, dude. I shouldn't need an SRV. I should just be able to put the nose of my ship right on whatever data panel they need me to scan. Scan data receipt commander updating your panel now. Target body, Gebel CD5B. All right, we know how to find that, don't we? CD, of course, so there's CD. Please don't be a million light seconds out. Uh, well, it's not that bad, actually. Four, five, a B. This mission pays a good amount for something this early on. If you guys think you can, um, if you're a new player and you think that you can accomplish something like this quickly and easily in a Sidewinder and get 250,000, do it. Because that's a pretty fucking good start. You can get a lot of really good ships for that amount. But all you really need is a hauler of a fuel scoop and like a surface scanner and then you can do road to riches. I guess I could do mining, but then I'd have to outfit a mining ship and I'm so spoiled by higher end mining ships that I, I don't have the stomach for lower end ones. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Is this it is. Then you had surgery, though, on the 13th? Yes, I had the, the, the reason why I had to take the 8th off um, and start was, was because of a quarantine. Before I could do surgery, I was forced into a five-day quarantine. And then, so I know that you had surgery. It was at... Uh, Providence. Fracture, yeah, my uh, humerus was in half. <laughs> They've had me in a sling. They, I just did a follow-up, and they told me to stop the sling and start stretching my arm straight out. So, because the elbow stiffens up, and then my arm might be locked in permanent L shape. So they're now telling me to stretch my arm out more, which is actually really hard to do. All right. Well, thank you for your help. Okay, guys. Sorry. Disability stuff. Gebel CD5B. I'm at the target body now. What? Search zone. That has to be it, right? I don't do pl very many planetary scan jobs, like in the, you know this type of scanning. I bet you this is going to be that moving target th shit, right? Speaking of which, I like it to be under 200 kilometers before I approach on most planets. I'm sure my glide will be, yep, look at that. See that? I knew it would be, be that moving target shit. But more times it moves on me, the closer I'll get to it. I'm 15 kilometers above the surface. Where's my night vision? There it is. Gotta find this uh, Freedom Party's hidden outpost. Yeah, the Gebel Freedom Party. Which is weird that they're called the Gebel Freedom Party because this is a mission from Free Ahikadal, which is another Freedom Party. There are two different Freedom Parties 
opposing each other. But you know, just because you say you're pro-freedom doesn't mean you are. In fact, if you look at history, usually it means you're not. <laughs> if there's anything a human being hates, it's the freedom of another. I've given up trying to pretend otherwise. That's actually why I really hope we never encounter extraterrestrials. If not for our sake, then for theirs. Like, I know it's not there, I can see the ground. Like, come on. Whew, there it is. Tiny little thing. I don't have an SRV, but I shouldn't need one, as I said earlier. There's a ship dropping in. Um, I don't know what that ship dropping in is doing. Oh, shit. But, uh, hmm. We, sh we should have some time before it reaches us, though. There's two ships dropping in. There we go. Got it. Got it. Better cover this up. Swapping the codes. Stand by. Encryption codes. There. Should be done. Stay sharp. Right, I gotta get the hell out of here before those ships presumably attack me because I have the data on board. So this mission isn't done until I get back. They're not on my contacts yet, so they're still coming down from orbit. You can tell because their icons are jumping around. See ya! We have to return to money hashtag hashtag destination station name semicolon. That must be that, that new encryption data I just got. Maybe they gave me a virus. Let's get this menu simulator a go and... They got us, boys. Give me the payday. <laughs> Look at that CR cut. 280,000. Nice. Anyways, guys, I can hold my controller down on my lap and play, you know, using my hands, like, because I play with an Xbox controller. So it's not too hard on my arm to play. Now, anyways. My arm was so inflamed for a while, I couldn't do anything. Like, anything. I couldn't even think about doing anything. But, anyways, now I can play. We just can't do anything with my arm arm. I can't play any more intense games that require, you know, sudden gripping of the controller or button mashing. So no fighters for me. You know, my channel is known for fighting games. <laughs> Let's just get in the hauler as planned. And then I'll get him an eagle as well. But we're really close to a uh, cobra. I might get him a cobra soon. But he needs something that can move a decent distance. So we have to get the hauler right now. You guys, you gotta get haulers right away. You gotta be able to move. But... Because he likes the fucking eagle and he likes combat, I'm going to get him an eagle. Let's just do a little bit of outfitting. I'm going to upgrade the hauler first because I need the hauler. Power plant. Aim shift drive. Two E. Oh, I want a two D. Two D is a lot lighter. Get off my ship. They do carry three A's, but God, they're expensive. I'm literally going to put a... 3C fuel scoop on this and hope it's decent. I don't have enough for a planetary scanner, do I? All right, let's see how this thing handles to CO Sothis. I can't even afford a decent fuel scoop on this thing, but maybe the 3C will do the trick. I don't know. Maybe I should put fuel tanks on this thing. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. Do one of these. Can this thing make it to see us? Yes. Assuming it can fuel scoop decently. 29 chumps is not bad. Moment of truth. Oh, I never set the fire groups, but let's just see if we can fuel scoop decently. Uh, good enough. Good enough. It should be half, take half that time, but whatever, I can do it. This is a juicy looking fuel scoop star. Yeah, that's not bad. I can, I can tolerate this. All right, so we're going to go uh, these 20-something jumps to Seos, sell all the data we get from all this scanning, and we'll start uh, grinding Fed Rep to unlock Soul. And through the process, we'll probably get a decent amount of credits, too. And hopefully, we'll be able to upgrade our fuel scoop for the road back, and then you get even better equipment and ships with the money we make, and also have access to Soul. So that'd be a pretty good start for Justin, I think. No, I really wasn't thinking. I probably should have put a 2D power plant on this instead of the 2A, because I don't think we're using even a fraction of our... Yeah, we're 50%, 58% usage. I mean, that's... We really could have lightened up our power plant quite a lot. Alrighty, we have made it. We have made it to Seos. Seos Sothis, where we can grind fed rank and money for Buddy Wintermorn. Alright. I'm not really trying to pimp his channel so much as trying to get him to play more really dangerous, <laughs> to be honest with y'all. But that's truly a worthy endeavor. But first, we're going to sell cartographic data. Got him half a million right there. More than we got for that planetary scan data. Already paying off. Maybe I will put a little bit of cargo on here, just to... 
Maybe we won't downgrade my power plant. I should downgrade my power plant. My thrusters. I wonder if I can upgrade my... Oh, I can, baby. Oh, yeah. Way more mobile ship now. For those of you who don't know, if you want a mobile ship, like for exploration or even for trade or what I'm doing, these are D-class modules, or rather D-grade modules are the lightest and least massive, even if their efficiency isn't that high. But as you see, I have plenty of power left over, so I don't need a more efficient power plant. So I lightened it up there. Also with thrusters, there's no reason I need more extreme thrusters. The only thing you want to be maximum efficiency is the frame shift drive, of course. That always goes as highest class, highest grade as you could possibly fit on any ship that's exploration and most trade ships as well anything that needs to get moving but that looks pretty good this is how i should have had it before i traveled over here but anyways the way back will be a lot better now let's get some mishies going data mishies i don't think i can do anything but data mishies we learned last time that we will we'll never go to vantage point so don't do vantage point no vantage point or sinclair market Velinsky, that's fine why not we'll just jump to sothis right now yeehaw uh, now let's go Ooh, I'm gonna skirt this planet, man. I'm gonna mass lock a chunk off of this planet as I shoot past it. Nobody trying to interdict me yet. This is going a lot smoother than it did on my on my actual profile. Don't go to vantage point. Yeah, what did I say? Huh? What did I say? This is a pretty good way to start Elite Dangerous, I think, actually. Doing a few data missions, getting a hauler with a fuel scoop, a 3C is fine, and then beelining the Sea Sothis and just doing this, and then unlocking Soul or whatever. I might have to do a montage <laughs> to speed this up a bit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, a montage is the fastest way to get stuff like this done. But I'll, I'll start it after New Home. I'm gonna grab fed missions from one system and head to the next. Grab fed missions from there and head back, and I'll just rinse and repeat that. Kind of time consuming, but that's what montages are for, kids. You guys already know my montage song, don't you? Is there any station where you don't need permission to land? They always specify, hey, just so you know, you can't dock here unless you get permission first. I don't think there's a single uh, station or outpost in the entire game where that isn't the case. God, no reputation choices, man. Tip two more places here, and then back to see us. So to activate your montage, you go to your bottom panel, you go to help, then you go down to montage. Get out of the quay, damn it. I need a montage. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. All right, montage, montage, go, 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 go. Petty officer. Booyah. 
Soul system permit issued. And it got him 8 million. It's enough for an Asp Explorer, except it's not enough to outfit an Asp Explorer, let alone outfit an Asp Explorer and provide spending money and rebuy money. Still, that's 8 million. That should be a solid start for Justin. All I gotta do is fly him back. Hopefully this should get him to do some more Elite Dangerous content now that he has some wiggle room. Back to Hackworth, kids. Dump off whatever I got on my way back. About a million worth of data. Pack safe and sound with 9 million CRs. People love the Cobra, right? Get off this ship. Definitely will need this. I'll make him an all-purpose, all-purpose Cobra here. He's definitely getting an SRV on this thing. I might actually put a fuel scoop on this. If they have a 4A. Yeah. I can't skip on the shields, though. I'm going to have to sell the hauler. Bye, hauler. You served your purpose. There, yeah, that'll have to do for an all-rounder. Oh, wait, I didn't put weapons on it. Oh, I'm getting close to the insurance cost. Fuck. <sighs> I have to do some missions first. But, that begs the question, how much are the weapons? Oh, now I'm below the insurance cost. Fuck. All right, goodbye, Eagle. Oh, got barely enough to cover the insurance cost. I was not thinking there. I've got to get a little bit of money here. Wow, some great missions there. This will, for show sure, get me the money I need. The Cobra's a good ship. I, I got it relatively quickly in, when I was first playing Elite Dangerous. My very first time. In fact, I went from a Sidewinder to the Cobra very quickly. I don't remember, I don't recall what I did. I was just doing like data missions and stuff. I ended up in a Cobra and I started gradually improving it. And I never sold it because I loved it so much. And in my opinion, it feels even cozier than the Sidewinder. It is a DeLacy. He badly needed this data right away though, I'll say that. Well, I wonder what they're getting. But we never open the package, guys. Don't you ever open that package. It's to tackle civil unrest? Weird. Was I doxing somebody with this data? <laughs> Almost enough for another, for two rebuys. <laughs> There's enough for one rebuy and then, then a little bit more. I'll have to do it for now. Thank you to my Patreons, the Geist Recruits, Joe Osborne, M161518, Slave, and Victor Angel, the Geist Cadets, Boham, Cat Scratch, Gaza Milldog, Hilo Mars, Mogbish, Tricky Dick Tracy, Commander Brackus Lormain, and Trocads. A special thank you to our Geist Wing Commander Patreons, Commander Roy Cookson, Commander Irish Love Circle, Glintwine, Ham Fisted, MGR, Voxelbox, and Yuri Teraday. And a thank you to this channel's leading Patreon, the Geist Staff Captain Dafted124. If you are a Patreon of mine and you want one of the rewards, or if you have any recommendations or requests, you can always send me a message on Patreon. Thank you for watching and until next time, cadets.